So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. These here are homemade dark field patch stops or dark field filters. And I've already made several videos in the past uh, where I showed you how you can 3D print them and I also used some rather unorthodox methods uh, like uh, dark black nail polish to make those filters. Uh, but over the last couple of weeks I received several emails and comments where people were asking me whether I could not make them for them um, or they were asking for links uh, on Amazon where they can buy them uh, because not everyone does have a 3D pr printer and uh, so for this reason I decided uh, to make this video here where, where I show you how to make very cheaply and very easily and quickly uh, your own dark field patch stops. Now for those of you who don't know what they do is um, they uh, can be inserted into the filter holder of a microscope. So it's important that your microscope has a filter holder and also a condenser. And then you will get a so-called dark field uh, lighting. And this means that the specimen that you see will appear bright on a dark background. And uh, this is a so-called a contrasting technique which allows you to see structures that you might otherwise not be able to see. And uh, yeah, making those is uh, quite easy, but I need to tell you a little bit about the theory first, um, because one of the things that's important is, is that you get the proper size of the central patch stop. So this central part here that uh, blocks out the light, that is called the patch stop. And uh, this has to be the correct size. And uh, if it is too large, then the whole image will be too dark. And if it is too small, then the background will not be completely black. Uh, so you need to find um, yeah, an ideal compromise and ideally you should use a different patch stop for different objectives uh, but generally that's not necessary. I mean there is a, a standard size that you can use um, for almost all of the objectives at least um, yeah, all the way up to, to 40 times. If you want to use dark field for a high magnification 100 times oil immersion objective then I have to tell you this might already be a problem because it blocks so much light that uh, the image might be too dark and uh, yeah so that's a different uh, problem. Uh, before I show you how to use uh, or how to make them um, there is another advantage that they have and that is is that you if you do not put it completely into, into the center but if you swing out the filter hole a little bit you will get something that is called oblique illumination and this will give you some, some kind of a three-dimensional effect. Um, I explained this uh, already in uh, some of my previous videos. Today I just wanted to show you how you can make uh, them yourself and it's uh, pretty easy. So I would say we're just going to get started. Well I think uh, that making one of those patch stops is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going narrate to it, narrate it anyway. All you need is some packaging material like I've used here. And this here is a blue filter which was already included with the microscope and it serves as a template. Uh, but of course you can um, also use a compass or some other template. The diameter in this case is 32 millimeters uh, but I'd suggest that you measure out the one for your microscope um, yeah, and custom make it. I'm, I've decided to cut out three of them, scissors <laughs> works best. And uh, yeah, all you do is, is you just make sure that the size is correct that it's able to fit into the filter holder of your microscope. Um, I designed the central dark uh, discs, these are the actual patch stops, using PowerPoint. Uh, I suggest that you use a diameter of 17 millimeters. So the, the plastic disc, the filter itself is 32 millimeters and the dark disc in the center is 17 millimeters. I found this size to be most useful because it works with uh, several of the objectives. Uh, the higher the magnification of your objective, the larger the disc must be. And this, of course, means that uh, at a high magnification, you're already taking away even more light. Um, so I think uh, the maximum uh, that you can use is maybe the 40 times objective. You see, a reg used regular uh, sticky tape uh, to glue the patch stop onto the plastic disc. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I have to trim, you have to trim off all of the excess tape and that's it. Uh, it, there's really nothing more to it. Um, um, what is important is, is that if the patch stop is too large, then everything's going to be too dark. And if it is too small, then the background is not going to be dark enough. So you need to find a good compromise between those two. Um, and then simply try it out by experimentation. And that's one of the reasons why I used uh, several of those sizes here. Um, yeah, all you do is, is you place it, as you can see here, directly into the filter holder. Um, yeah, and then you move the filter holder in and, and that's it. Um, and this is how you're supposed to see it. Uh, the, this here is uh, some kind of ciliate uh, and it should appear bright on a dark background. It's a little bit blurry because I used a lot of digital zoom now to make it larger. Um, but uh, the resolution, of course, is also lowered. Now watch this here. This one is in bright field. And when I switch um, 
over to dark field i see a lot of white dots almost like stars in the night sky this is dust um, this should illustrate to you that uh, you're able to see things using dark field that you normally would not see because of, of bad contrast in this case it would be dust so this is actually a good and a bad sign uh, because the dust actually disturbs but on the other hand it actually shows that you're able to see things that you normally would not be able to see this is again bright field and and uh, yeah and before it was dark field simply to show you again here again dark field simply to show you again how the image looks different yeah and uh, sometimes it actually looks much nicer because you have a larger and a, not larger a stronger contrast with the background so plenty of things to experiment around with so okay i think uh, that's it uh I'm going to call it quits today. Again, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. Um, yes, please also visit the, the links and my website. Uh, there is a podcast that you can listen to. Um, yeah, there are many uh, resources available on the website. Um, of course, there is also my main uh, Micro Hunter YouTube channel where I put uh, living stuff under the microscope, uh, whatever I find. Um, yeah, happy Micro Hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.